the Hiroshima Peace Memorial, the building that defied the atomic bomb, 1945. In the center of the Japanese city of Hiroshima stands a large, old, derelict shell of a building with a still semi-intact, impressive dome. It's situated next to the Motoyasu River and is part of the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. The building is commonly referred to as the Hiroshima Peace Memorial, or Genbaku Dome, though once it was the Hiroshima Prefectural Commercial Exhibition Industrial Promotional Hall that had been built in 1915. Its name was changed to the Hiroshima Prefectural Products Exhibition Hall in 1921, and thereafter the Hiroshima Prefectural Industrial Promotional Hall in 1933. It had been used to showcase and sell local produce, then was a history and art museum, and an arts and educational exhibition venue. But with the coming of World War II, its functions ceased and was taken over by the Japanese government offices, including the Chugoku Shikoku Public Works Office District Public Works Division and the Lumber Control Corporation. On the morning of August 6, 1945, at 8.15 a.m., a single bomb was dropped from high above the center of the city by a lone American B-29 Super Fortress bomber. It was the first atomic bomb to be dropped in anger and was codenamed Little Boy. It exploded with such force that it killed a quarter of the city's population instantly. That's over 70,000 people. Many of those killed were vaporized immediately leaving behind just their shadows that were permanently burnt under the ground or walls directly behind them. Almost five square miles of the city was flattened by the blast. At the very center of where the bomb exploded, only one building remained standing, and that was the Dome Prefectural Industrial Promotional Hall. The atomic bomb hypocenter was directly above the nearby Shima Hospital at an altitude of 1,800 feet. The hospital was totally destroyed by the explosion, and the hall, which was 490 feet away, suffered considerable damage. All the people inside the hall were killed, and the interior was completely consumed by flames. Its magnificent dome, which was a famous local landmark, literally had its copper covering melted off in a split second, leaving behind just its iron frame. Remarkably, the building stayed upright and relatively intact, despite it being 30 years old at the time. It had survived the blast because of its sturdy construction. Because the bomb had exploded high above the hall, the massive blast that followed was directed more downward than sideways, meaning the building was able to absorb the force of the explosion better. After the war, there was much debate as to whether to preserve the building or have it torn down, as some felt it was too painful of a reminder regarding such an awful event in human history. In the end, it was decided to preserve the building as a part of the new Hiroshima Peace Memorial. And in 1996, the hall was made a UNESCO World Heritage Site as a stark reminder of the destructive power of the nuclear bomb. It's estimated 140,000 men, women, and children lost their lives that day in August and in the months to come from their wounds and radiation poisoning. A chilling reminder of the destructive power of just one bomb that was just a mere 10 feet long.